Hi, my name is Ashwini Kumar and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see the PhD admission process in all universities and colleges as per the UGC regulations. Up to now, the universities and colleges are following their own process or they are following their own rules and regulations in order to take the PhD admissions. But uh, from now itself, all the universities and colleges and higher education institutions has to follow the UGC regulations to get the PhD admission process that we are going to see now in this video. Before going into the details and all, if you are planning to write the UGC net June 2020 exam for the electronic science subject, then the online course or recorded videos are available for this one. So the interested candidates may contact or WhatsApp to the number 8184930191. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, then please do subscribe and then click on the bell icon. Then you are going to get all my updates and videos as immediate notifications to your devices. And now while coming to the present content of the video, it is one of the article published in the Still Outlook uh, magazine, stilloutlook.com. Uh, so actually in each and every higher education institution the PhD admission process has to be happened in the three different uh, ways. The first way is giving advertisement or notification for PhD admission application in its official website and in the few newspapers or the magazines and uh, how many applicants are applying to this PhD admission. Uh, to all the applied candidates the PhD admission test has to be conducted and based upon the a result in the admission test the interview and the final selection will be done so it is exactly process as per the UGC regulations all the higher education institutions has to follow so first we will see while coming to the admission test uh, it is divided into the I mean this written test whatever the admission test or written test is there so it is having the two parts 50 percentage of the part will be covered by the research methodology and the remaining 50 percentage of part will be covered by the specific uh, subject of the candidate opted or the specialization of the candidate. So to qualify the entrance test or the admission test, the candidates belonging to general category has to score 50 percentage of marks in the admission test. While coming to the SCST, OBC, non criminal layer and PWD category has to score at least 45 percentage of the marks. So those who qualify for the PhD entrance test with these minimum marks will have to appear for the interview or viva voice and the interview or viva voice sh shall be based upon the three parameters the first thing is candidate has to come with the proposed research and the second thing is whether the proposed research is going on in that particular institution or college or not and the third one is the proposed area of research can contribute to a new or uh, additional knowledge that means the future scope must be there to that proposed area of research and coming to the merit list so how the merit list uh, will come based upon the performance in the admission test plus viva voice or the interview so the aggregate marks are based upon the weightage of 70 percentage in the admission test and 30 percentage performance in the interview or viva voice and coming to the admission test or the entrance test exemption may be allowed as per the UGC regulations so that exemption will be provided to the candidates who qualified the UG Senate uh, including JRF and a UGC CSIR net including JRF SLET gate teacher fellowship holder or have passed the MPhil program of course uh, nowadays the uh, 90% of the universities are giving exemption to these uh, qualified candidates they can directly appear for the interview for PhD admission right so these are all the uh, UGC uh, regulations for the PhD admission process in all the higher education institutions who are providing the PhD admissions. Okay, so it is update that I want to provide you through this video from my channel. For more updates, please subscribe and then tap the bell icon. Thank you.